this is where I've been spending the past week or so. I'm recording this from inside the van because the wind has picked up again. So unusual in the southwest desert in the winter. I am at Imperial Dam, about a half hour out of Yuma, Arizona. I'm actually on the California side right now. Originally, I came to the Imperial Dam LTVA, where my existing permit I got in Quartzsite works. But it was pretty crowded, and the cell service was pretty bad there, and I had to find somewhere to find internet. So I went out for a bike ride. I just went exploring around, and I found this spot. It's a peninsula that we have all to ourselves. My friends and I have been camping in and out of here for the past few weeks. So where I'm parked right now is on the North Shore of the Senator Wash Reservoir at the Imperial Dam area. It does require a different permit than the LTVA. You can stay here for $15 a night or $75 for a season pass. And this one is good for a full year, not just part of the year like the LTVA pass. And it still gives me access to the water, the trash, the dump stations, all the LTVA facilities. I just can't stay there overnight. Well, I couldn't on this permit. I have the LTVA permit, so I'm fine there. But this other permit's pretty useful, and it's good through the end of next March, 2023. So hypothetically, next winter in Quartzsite, I could camp out in the free BLM land and still go into La Posa South to get everything I need without getting another permit. I just wouldn't be able to spend the night there. At the LTVA, like I say, the cell signal is pretty poor, but I've got four bars of Verizon out here on the other side of the lake, and there's a pit toilet literally around the corner for me, and unlike at La Posa South, it's hardly ever used. It even has toilet paper. I have had a blast riding my motorcycle around here too. There are a lot of dirt roads and trails and stuff to ride. In fact, I have done so much dirt riding that I had to take the bike into Yuma to get gas because I've used so much gas riding the dirt roads and the trails out here that um, I ran out on my way to go get gas before I even got a quarter mile away from my camp, I hit reserve. Of course, I don't know the area, but in the very active ham radio group, I met someone who does, and we've been riding once or twice. He took me around a whole bunch of places. He even took me to a gold mine and uh, that he owns a share in, and he taught me a thing or two. Hi, Lister. <laughs> he taught me a thing or two about gold prospecting, which as a New England guy, it's completely outside my experience. It's just something you don't do there, so. It's been really cool exploring the new area and learning all about it. Yeah. Have you had fun exploring too? Lister's really enjoyed this place because I think he's missed trees. He hasn't seen real trees in several months, but I've caught him just lying down on top of a bunch of pine needles and just lounging all day. In fact, the first night we were here, he missed dinner time because he was so comfortable just lounging in pine needles. I had to go open the can in front of him just to get him to come to dinner. Yeah, yeah, that was you. You've never, ever missed dinner time in your life before. Or since. He's still a pain in the butt. Are you enjoying your bath, Lister? Bathing on camera is going to get this video demonetized. I know it. But I've enjoyed exploring the area. There's one other place I want to check out, which I'll probably make a video about when I get there. And, you know, this, this may broaden my options for coming back to uh, Southwest Arizona next year. Uh, instead of staying in Quartzsite all summer and honestly getting a little bored with it, uh, I might just bounce around between a few different places because the temperature is very similar and uh, I might be able to get out of the Quartzsite wind a little bit. They're having a really bad windy day there right now, and the wind's blowing here, but it's not nearly as bad. Plus, right here, I've got trees as a wind block, so that helps too. And there are even showers we can use down at the Squaw Lake campground on the other side of the lake. They're just operated by tokens, and you can go in and get a shower for a lot less expensive than a quartzite. This is the shower I just used. Good pressure. 
and hot water. Runs on tokens. You pop it there. The sign is wrong. One token gets you seven minutes. So I just splurge for a two token shower. Two bucks, can't beat it. So if you wanna stay warm through the winter, but sitting in the middle of the desert, far away from water isn't for you, consider Imperial Dam. You've got obviously a whole lot of water right here. You got a nice view. It's still in the desert, but that means it's still warm. And you know, down here, like I say, there's wind, but it's not quite as bad as quartzite. So it's definitely a viable option.